What we are looking at is a website called This Person Does Not Exist. It is a, a website that NVIDIA created to demonstrate its artificial intelligence technology. Um, this website, every time you refresh the website, it creates on the fly a image of a person that does not exist. So the technology behind this, there's an algorithm called a generative adversarial network. And it takes two pieces of AI, basically two AI programs, and sets them to compete against one another. So two different algorithms competing against one another. One set tries to create the new image of a human being that doesn't exist, of a person that doesn't exist. And the other algorithm, the other AI, uh, checks to see whether it is real or fake. It judges whether it's real or fake. So therefore, they're generative adversarial network. They're kind of competing, competing against one another. But this is the technology behind it. And this website is strangely compelling and extremely creepy as well. So let's take a look at it. So this looks, at first glance, like, wow, that looks like a real person, right? But take a look at some of the details of this, and let's, uh, let's uh, zoom in here. See, she's got that little glitch on there on her chin. So that could be just a photographic uh, uh, glitch or something in a photographic editing thing that, that you might see in a normal photograph of a person. But then there's some blurring around the eyes, and you can see this, this blurriness around the edges, around the edges of the photo. So, but that one's, you know, that one's pretty, pretty good. At, a, at first glance, it would pass as a, as an actual human being. Okay, so here's where we get in. The older the uh, subjects are, then the more you'll notice this kind of pattern on the, uh, on the face, um, kind of lines across the face, and they're not wrinkles. They're, I don't know what they are, how to explain it, but uh, you can see these lines streaking down the face you'll see more of them as we as we uh, reload and see older older people so that one looks pretty good uh, there's a little blur at the top of the of the uh, hair but uh, at first glance that could easily pass as a human being and uh, okay here's some uh, some weird things going on here the corner of the eye um, a little too deep on the uh, on the folds in the face where the smile uh, uh, comes together, you can see some. You'll also notice on some of these uh, the neck area kind of distorts weirdly, and then we've got this weird distortion here of the person next in the in the uh, next to it. So that's a dead giveaway right there, right? But again, first glance, pretty realistic. Okay, here's the one where we can see the weird folds. There are also some weird things going on in the face area, some kind of streaking that I mentioned earlier. And that ear is kind of uh, twisted and mangled. And then see the folds in the neck? Those are really kind of unnatural folds right there. Okay, and then some weird patterns here on this, uh, on this person. Um, I... The ear is kind of oddly shaped right there. Again, that one's kind of oddly shaped. This one's pretty. You've got some weird stuff going on, on the side. And again, the ear is strange, strangely shaped there. Here's more of that pattern stuff that I was talking about on the forehead here. And then you get some... Uh, some weirdness in the glasses there. The glasses aren't sharply defined as they would be in a normal photograph. The ears are kind of mangled. And this background is kind of just weird. So they seem to, the, the, the younger and whiter the people are, they seem to be better. That sadly, uh, that's often the case with AI. They don't have, uh, they don't train them on large sets of dark skin, dark skin people. So we tend to get that. And here's a, here's a, again, this, the folds are just kind of unnatural. It looks like his face is drooping a little bit there. Looks like his skin is melting a little bit there. And there's that weird deep crevice there on his face. 
oddly shaped ear. I want to find somewhere, I've seen somewhere uh, glasses are kind of melded into the person's face, which is strange. And there's a weird weirdness on the neck right there. Okay, or look at that, that just above the lip right there, that weird, that weird shadow that's an unnatural shadow right there. Let's take a look at these glasses. And those folds are very strange. See, the younger they get, the more realistic they look. And then this this strange patterns on the on the face. That's just that's weird. Okay, here we go. That's even more pronounced there. And the stripes coming down the side of the coming down the neck, the lip is is uh, mangled a little bit there. Weird folds, almost as uh, no separation between the uh, chin and the uh, and the neck. It kind of melds together right there. Okay, the older they get too, the weirder they look. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on there. That looks like somebody's got a, like a pig's foot is coming out or a turkey leg is coming out of that guy's face. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the stuff of bad dreams right there. So look at that neck right there. I don't know what happened to that guy. It doesn't look like it's uh, very fun. All right, look at that. Look at those patterns. Weird patterns on people's faces. All right, there we go. There's an example of the glasses. The glasses are are kind of fused into that in this this woman's face. See, they're going beneath the skin right there. That's just weird. All right, well, have you got nightmares yet? Fascinating technology, though, um, and this is just primitive. I'm sure it's going to improve, so uh, strangely compelling, kind of horrifying at the same time.